I just want to ask you uh, about Jack uh, Poog um, in, in his first spring and rolling early. Um, you know, what, what did you see from him, and you know, how does he maybe elevate your room yeah, this I mean, year? Yeah, you never know until they show up for real. You, you, you judge off the tape and everything else, but um, I'm thrilled about him. You know, and I think I think him coming in mid-year was a huge blessing for him because there was a lot of little kinks that we had to work out kind of making that transition. And if he would have just shown up in the summer with the rest of the group, it probably would have taken a while because the season hits and you're you're pulled in every direction. But I was able to actually sit down with him one on one in the spring and, and you know just just teach it the right way. So he's actually got a foundation. So um, Jack, I think, will be kind of a, a surprise guy down the road for us. And given that um, you know he was once you know pretty highly touted at outside linebacker, um, didn't see the field. I think played one offensive snap for you last season. What's the sense of urgency like to just get Jalen uh, on the field and? allow him to use the athleticism that, you know, you guys recruited him for. Yeah, it's, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It's just allow him to go out and, and play confident because he's got all the potential in the world. So how do you take off the, 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 the training wheels and the brakes and let him just go believe in himself and do it? Because if he's playing that way, he's he's pretty darn good. It's just getting that mental piece along with it and that, that confidence and the technique and moving positions a little bit to where, you know, he, he's no longer uh, worried about himself. He's just worried about doing the task at hand. I know he came back late in, in the spring. What did you like about what he was able to do in, in the few practices you got to see? You know, just even that is a big deal for him because he'd had a hamstring or something okay. something that would knock him out for a few weeks here and there. And, and to be able to push through it and get back and get really two solid weeks of padded practices in um, kind of shows you where his, his maturity is at. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was progressing every day before the injury, and then when he got back, you don't quite know how he's going to handle it, and he just he just picked right back up where he left off. And then, then blocking-wise, I don't know if you know you ask him to do a ton of that stuff, but given his you know background as an outside linebacker, quarterback in high school, where is he in, in terms of just picking up and, and the stuff that you guys like to do for your tight ends? You know, he's probably somewhere in the middle, but the first thing you got to have that's almost hard to coach at times is just that willingness to put your face in there. Um, and he's got it, so so I can kind of take that off the table. And now it's just all technique work. It's all the the, the nitpicky stuff, the grinded out stuff. But um, he's not afraid of contact. He'll go in there and hit anybody bigger than him, smaller than him, faster than him, whatever. Um, so as long as he's got that, I can work with the rest of it. And another guy I want to ask you about was, was Cam, who I think was, was banged up in the in the spring too. You know, yeah. where, where's he just had in his you know rolled back here? So Cam is as positive as they come. Um, you could ask him the day after. He gets injured. Are you ready to go? And he'd say, "I'm 100%." Now it's not always true, but uh, he is about as eager as a player you'll find. He's smart as a whip. He learns. I mean, he he truly loves football, um, and and he's ahead of the game right now for his age and and where his body's at. So, you know, he might start camp, kind of warming into it for just a hair, but I see it being week two or three, he's full go, and, and we're, we're throwing him in every situation we can. So I'm, I'm really excited about him. Are you seeing any other players that you don't you feel may start off slower in terms of fall camp and due, due to injuries or anything like that? You know, Jack, the young one, is, is that same, you know, it's just it's kind of a day-to-day -day thing where he might he might be full go tomorrow or might take a week to kind of warm into it, but he's got a little bit of luxury. He's young, he's got time. Um, and I've got enough guys ahead of him that he can kind of take reps as needed instead of, you know, some years you look at some of those positions and it's like, hey man, you're, you're all there is, you better go and go fast because there's nothing else. But it's a, it, it, it's a benefit when you've got multiple guys with experience so you can spread out the, the reps and they're not just taking every rep, they're taking the ones they need. Paul talked about uh, trust and confidence in everybody on this squad. Uh, how would you respond to that when it comes to players, coaches, everybody? I think it's one of your biggest assets and, and Paul's been around the staff about as long as you can think, you know, and, and even some of the new guys he has prior relationships with, with Hank, Gary fit right in in a heartbeat. So when you have that, you, you know you're pushing the same message. And, and I kind of think of it like a, you're building a fort, right? And if you know the guy behind you is building the wall just as good as you are, you're confident to keep shooting arrows. But if you got to turn around, things are going to crumble. So um, as long as we can keep that going, which I don't see why we wouldn't, you know, everything's moving forward for us. Come fall camp for this position, you know, what do you like so far and what do you want to work on? I mean, I, I like the eagerness. I, I think the, like, the positive energy aspect of it. I, I've been on teams before where you're not, you kind of got to pull guys along here and there, and, and I don't have that with this group. Like they are, I could say meet me at midnight tonight and I'll be there. Um, but, you know, it, it's, with the last year, how things worked out with, with, with not having fans or not having spring ball two years ago, 
there's just some live bullets we need to throw at these guys to get them in, in some real situations against some real competition to, to build that experience that you can't necessarily get from a film room, you know. Which young guys that, you talk about Cam and Jack, I guess, but which young guys that haven't gotten a lot of in-game snaps or any fans haven't had a chance to see, um, are you eager to see in a lot once fans have it, it's all of them, you know, but for different reasons because I, I see where they can benefit the team. You know, Jack is the one that's had the most kind of well-rounded experience, even though that wasn't a ton. So I'm kind of kind of put him in every situation. But you know, Hayden was more heavy stuff last year. How do I get to see him catch the ball a little more? Um, Clay was a guy that I was excited about going into last year, and then you know, sat out because of COVID, sat out because of injury, and so it's like he didn't really get his chance to same year as Hayden get some reps. So it's like his time to kind of get out there and do something. And then Jalen moving over a position, he's fighting for reps, and, and he has played in games and performed against top teams. But now you're doing the other side of the ball. So, um, and then you know, and then Cam's a guy that I think is the youngest of that group. But as I said, like he he has no fear of jumping right in. And he, he, you're going against the top-ranked DN right now who's a fifth-year senior. You'd be like, cool, man, that's awesome. I can't wait. So really all of them, but for different reasons. They're all in a different mindset. And how do I play that in camp to get them to kind of shine through their, their comfort zone? Has Eschenbach kind of emerged as your, your next guy up just in terms of the all-around ability behind Ferguson? Or are there some other guys you could see maybe developing and, and into that spot too? That's a tough question. I, I want to believe that's the case. He still got to show it to me. Um, but coming out of spring, you know, he he made every practice. I had him in the heaviest of situations, in the lightest situations, running the deepest routes, blocking the biggest guys, and he didn't really flinch in any of those. So I've kind of put that as a challenge for him now. Like, can you be a complete tight end? Can you be what Fergie is? And, and um, whereas those other guys, I think there's more pieces. They're still kind of fitting into certain boxes. He's fit the pieces in now. How do you actually make them viable? 